God created all living beings on earth with distinct features best suited to the makeup of their habitats. And in your creation and all the creatures he has spread about, there are signs for people with certainty. We encounter such astounding traits in nature that even man, who considers himself superior to all other living beings, cannot help admiring them. For instance, some animals are saved from being a prey by playing dead. Unlike scavengers, most genuine predators prefer live animals as food. Noticing the snake hidden under the sand, this insect saves itself thanks to its ability to mimic. Some animals seem bigger than they are at times of danger, like these frogs. The false eyes on the fruit fly's head protect it from predators. In addition, when the fly meets a spider, it immediately starts to imitate the walking pattern of another spider, of which the enemy is afraid. Seeing this surprising behavior, the spider gives up preying on the fly because the walking pattern the fly imitates belongs to a poisonous spider. Such intelligence in mimicry cannot be explained by coincidences as the theory of evolution claims. This is because this defense tactic requires specialization on spiders. First of all, the fly must be able to distinguish between the walking patterns of poisonous and non-poisonous spiders. And this can be possible only after a long period of research. It is evident that a tiny fly would not have such an excellent ability of judgment. Besides providing protection for some animals, resemblance also helps some plants to reproduce. The lower leaf of an orchid species resembles a female wasp with open wings in terms of color and pattern, right down to the thick hairs on its body. In addition, it is created with the ability to produce a scent that attracts the male wasp. The male wasp perches on the lower leaf of the orchid as soon as it sees the flower. Doing so, the wasp's head touches the part that contains the flower's pollen. The wasp flies off with the pollen dispersed over its head and antennae. Then it repeats the same process when it is attracted to another orchid in the same manner. In doing so, the wasp randomly daubs the pollen on this orchid. Thus it helps the orchid to reproduce. This is another plant that reproduces through resemblance. On the petals of this plant are hairs, similar to those of an animal, as well as veins resembling an animal's fat sack. But the real trap is its scent that attracts flies. When a fly approaches, it instantly opens its petals, thus releasing the smell of rotten flesh into the air. Flying towards this odor, the fly instantly perches on the flower. As soon as the fly reaches the pollen, the plant tightly clutches onto the fly in order to stick a few pollen grains on it. These tiny grains of pollen will inseminate the flower that will be the next stop of the fly. The reason for such a detailed design is that these flowers can reproduce only by this way. In rainforests, the color red is usually a signal that a creature is poisonous. Taking advantage of this, some non-poisonous animals make use of the color red present on their bodies to protect themselves. When faced with an enemy, for instance, frogs and salamanders, which have red parts in their abdomens, pose in such a way as to display this spot to give an alarm signal to their predator. The false organs that are found in the bodies of some animals help them in many ways. An example to this might be some butterfly and moth species. The tail part of this moth, for example, has the look of a head with antennae. 
This shape causes attackers to head towards the tail of the moth, taking it for the head. This tiny butterfly acts as if it is aware of the design on its tail and misleads the attacker by turning its back to it. This target confusing operation helps the creature gain time to escape. These are figures on the bodies of some animals that can be called false eyes. Just like all other small creatures, butterflies also have countless enemies. For this reason, as a defense mechanism, some butterflies are created with a pair of false eyes that appear when they open their wings. Although it is an attractive and appealing prey, the butterfly takes on a dreadful look when it opens its wings. The details and symmetry in these eyes are so perfect that the predators are fully convinced that this animal is not a butterfly. Besides false eyes, some butterfly species have a false face on their wings. This face is so realistic with its shiny eyes, facial features, frowning eyebrows, mouth and nose that the overall picture is quite discouraging to most predators. However, the butterfly is not even aware of this superior trait God has given to it. This is stated in a verse of the Quran. There is no creature he does not hold by the forelock. There is a marvellous design in all these living things. It is not possible to claim that the glorious picture on a butterfly's wings has come about as a result of coincidences. No coincidence can produce such a perfect pattern or harmony in colour and symmetry. The exact resemblance of an orchid to a female wasp and moreover its knowing the scent that will attract the male wasp and its ability to secrete it imply a flawless design that cannot be attributed to random and unconscious changes. The claim of evolutionists that everything originated through coincidence is utterly refuted in the face of these examples of design. It is out of the question that a creature could play with its own colours and designs or make a drawing surpassing even that of an artist. And if there is design, then there surely is a designer. It is obvious that just like all other living beings on earth, these creatures are also created by God. The author of their flawless design and superior skills is certainly God, the Lord of all the worlds. What is in the heavens and in the earth belongs to God. God encompasses all things.